was a child where I met him in juvenile jail. Yeah, yeah, crazy things, crazy things. Um, I was in there for weed. He was in there for a bunch of very felony-wise things. <laughs> He's crazy. But, um, yeah, we met, and then that's how we even figured out we can rap, that, like, each other can rap. We never rapped before then. Like, we just was, like, in there beating on chairs and figured out that we both should take it further. <laughs> Stokely Clevin Goldman was born in Broward County, Florida on the 18th of April 1996. He is of Jamaican descent and grew up around music, claiming that his dad, a former rapper who went by the name of Sin City, forced him to write raps from a young age. Stokely was exposed mainly to Jamaican music in his childhood, as it was exclusively played by his mother and his grandma when Stokely lived there as a child. He grew up in Broward County and was exposed to the high rate of crime that led to his conviction in 2014. Stokely was sent to juvenile detention after he was caught with what he described as $10 of weed. It was in this detention centre that Stokely met Jesse Onfroy, more popularly known as XXX Tentacion. Jesse and Stokely quickly became friends inside a prison and would rap with each other while making beats on the table with their hands. Stokely originally plotted to meet with Jasse once they were both released from prison to rob houses instead of pursue a career in music. However, they both realised that pursuing music will keep them out of jail and give them something to do. Stokely adopted the name Ski Master Slump God and formed the rap collective with Jasse known as Very Rare. Ski had a taste in music that was very broad and he claims he incorporates every genre except for country in his music. His first ever song was recorded after Jasse brought a snowball mic off eBay and recorded using a laptop. This is how the distinctive sound of both XXX Tentacion and Ski Mask were made with the low quality mic giving a distorted sound to their music, which separated them from other rappers at the time. Ski was also part of the rap collective known as Members Only, which also features XXX Tentacion. Members Only Volume 1 released on the 21st of April and was the first project released by Members Only and started to gain traction for both of the artists. One, say, hey! If you fought with me, my nigga, if you even halfway fought with me, fuck this shit up! Hey, let's hey. go! Let's hey. go! Hey. One, two, three, hey! Go game for my breakfast, yeah. hold that pistol, yeah. you know it's dangerous, yeah. Yeah. pussy boy, talk reckless, he might end up yeah. on this stretch of me. Gang bang! Hey, gang, 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 gang. I'm the same fucking team. 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 I need to shoot one eye to my favorite thing. Don't shoot me a nigger. Ski Mask blew up in 2016 with the consistent release of hits throughout the year. Mixtapes such as Very Rare Lost Files, Drown in Designer, and Slaps from My Drop Top Minivan propelled Ski Mask to the forefront of SoundCloud. This all happened as XXX Tentacion released Look At Me and took over the internet with constant headline catching behaviour. Ski and X were one of the most promising rap duos in the world and were leading the generation of new artists that rise from SoundCloud. Auntie, she got south no, south west she got no ankles, and it's south by south stress. Bro, yo, south yeah. stress. yo, auntie, pussy stink. Right, I ain't gonna lie. Hello, mom. Guess what? Let's get it. <laughs> Let's get it. <laughs> 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 
Never knew like what level we was at until like this year. Like we're at tour before me and X went on tour. We're looking at each. We're looking at his shit. Like everything. Like how the fuck did we do this? Like <laughs> like because we came from like nothing, nothing at all. Like with no fans. So we seen literally our Instagram, SoundCloud, and Twitter go from zero to wherever it is now. And people were like. Love seeing what the fuck we gotta do next. Cause like we're just like wild cards. Like we just spontaneous as hell. So it's just like you never know what the fuck we're gonna do. We're gonna do some wild shit. Definitely all the time. Cause that's what we try to do. We're like, yeah, what wild shit can we do next? Um, to explain it in an appropriate way and in a way that I can respect. Um, it was just, I guess, a, a lack of appreciation on his end, not because of me, I guess just from a business perspective, but he put a business perspective before a personal relationship, and I've been with, uh, been with him as a friend and as a brother for a very long time, so... I mean, it's just on some like other shit to be honest. It's not even on some like it's not even on anything I've I've done wrong. I can't even you can't even say I've done anything to him. But I have to distance myself because it's like nobody would see me as a individual. Rather, if I don't on top of that, that'd be crazy as hell. <laughs> Towards the end of twenty seventeen. Ski felt that he had to distance himself in order to end his appearance as X's sidekick. X felt as though he had been used by Ski just to rise to fame and abandon him, and put his career before their friendship that they both had well before fame. However, Ski then went on to claim that X had threatened his family and told Ski that he was supposed to be a sacrifice. Despite all this, X publicly stated that he refused to make music unless Ski became his friend again. Uh, see X again. No, I haven't seen X when me and X performed. During Rolling Loud, I haven't seen X or spoken to X since other times of us not being on good terms. So seeing him, seeing him was funny to me. Um, he came, came kind of angry. Got <laughs> we got on stage. He came kind of angry. He wasn't trying to really like talk. I was like, all right, whatever. You still came. You feel me? We got on stage. We performed together. Um, it was great though. Let me tell you that. Like our energy was that's not, that's something that I can never deny. Or like if we ever make music again together, still because it's still a question. Like we still don't know if we're still gonna like be around each other like we used to be, um, or make music. But if we do end up doing that shit, that's just gonna be viral and very crazy and hard. There's the energy that me and that nigga. Um, the ambush and murder of a 20-year-old rapper in Broward County. It appears two men were trying to rob him. CBS 4's Aralia Ortega is working this story live in Deerfield Beach. Aralia. Ruta Bay, this is something that has really stunned fans of XXX Tentacion, a rising star here in South Florida. Fans began to gather here right after learning about the shooting that claimed his life. They just held a moment of silence, but they've been here listening to his music, praying and lighting candles in his memory. 
but I don't even know what to say right now. I just don't know what to say. Um, I guess I'm just making this because the information what I just heard was that he's passed. Call. Girl, that you fuck with, kill yourself.